Today, I am trying mushrooms, but not those types of mushrooms. I'm taking a mushroom extract called reishi for 30 days. I have anxiety. Most people run on a tempo of this. My tempo is like, and I also know that my internal rhythm can come into the room before I can and turn people off. And I don't want to be that way. A couple months ago, I read about ashwagandha helping with anxiety. Now ashwagandha is another Ayurvedic herb. And oh my God, y'all, yeah, it made me feel even crazier. My palms were sweaty. I felt like very jumpy. And that's when I kind of took a step back and I was like, okay, so maybe I need help from a professional, a naturopath or somebody who actually works with these herbs to kind of guide me. Hello, my name is Amrit Sadna. I am a holistic health and anxiety coach. We have a sympathetic nervous system and our sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight. And then there's your parasympathetic nervous system and that's your rest and digest. And that's where we should be living most of the time. When you're in that, you feel relaxed, you feel grounded in yourself. And when you're not, you feel anxious. But we live in a world where we're mostly living in the sympathetic nervous system and not the parasympathetic nervous system. So taking herbs, exercising, meditating will actually have a huge impact on your overall health and wellness. So adaptogens are herbs which have a non-specific nervous system response and they help you to adapt to different stressors. So just in the mushroom family, there's reishi, cordyceps, chaga. Reishi, it's known as the queen of plants in Chinese medicine. It has astounding antioxidant levels. When we have anxiety, your adrenaline's pumping more regularly. Your adrenals start to get fatigued. So if you take an herb like reishi, it's gonna actually support your adrenal system. And then it's also gonna help you with your anxiety. It's gonna have that calming effect on your nervous system. So Amrit Sadna and I are going to buy the ingredients and then we're gonna come back here and make my first latte. I think it's gonna be easy. Hope it's gonna be easy because I'm gonna have to do this for the next 30 days. In two weeks, we're gonna have a check-in to see how I'm feeling. Hopefully, I have the discipline to keep this going. No new food challenge would be complete without going grocery shopping. So Amrit um, Sagna and I, we're going grocery shopping. <laughs> Where are we starting? We're gonna start at the door because the dates are in the door. We spent around about $108 for nut milk, cardamom, two reishi packets, which should last me 30 days, and ghee, which I didn't have. So up front, it was an investment, which yeah. is something to note because a lot of these trends I find super interesting mm -hmm. and fascinating, but I just worry about the price point isn't as accessible to everyone, Absolutely. which I take issue with. And also going into an experience like this, a challenge like this with a critical mind, but an open heart mm -hmm. is kind of like my stance. If you order online, if you shop direct through some of these companies, it can be much more cost effective. But the thing is, is you take a little bit each day and so they last you a long time. So if you break it down in that way, it's not as daunting. For anyone who's watching at home who's like, this new habit's expensive. These are just some crazy LA girls. Running around with the crackers. <laughs> Hi, welcome. We say welcome as if this is your kitchen. Yeah, but this, this is, is totally a... my kitchen. <laughs> How did you develop this recipe? Yeah. Some people's bodies don't metabolize caffeine very well. Yeah. That when I was just drinking a cup of coffee with like half and half or nut milk in it, I was getting that like really quick right. rush. So I started looking into different alternatives and one of those was adding fat to my coffee. And it's a really great vehicle to get these herbs into your diet without having to drink a cup full of bitter, gross herbs by themselves. So um, they are bitter and gross by themselves. Not all of them. Reishi has a tendency to be a more bitter herb. Yeah, but we're making this taste. But we're gonna make it tasty. And mindful, because this mindful. is a part of the process. Yes. When I get up in the morning, I get ready, and then I head into the kitchen, and I just kind of check in with my body and see what feels good. And as I make it, sometimes I'll put on meditation music, I breathe really like consciously and awarely. Is awarely a word? For me, pouring it into like a really beautiful mug and taking that first moment to like take that sip and taste it and feel my breath, feel my body's reaction to it is something that I look forward to every day. By doing all this, you're setting the tone for your, for your day. entire day. These are our mugs to choose from. There are four ladies on set today, so I thought we would make four lattes. Beautiful. So if you're making this just for yourself, you would do about a half of a cup. Pour that coffee up in there. 
But let's do one date in this and see how it is. The date adds iron and minerals and just the perfect amount of sweetness and there's the fiber in it so you're not gonna get a sugar rush from it. Ghee is butter that's been heated up so all the fat solids are gone and you're just left with the really good fat. All of the casein and lactose has been removed in the process so it's dairy free. The reason we use ghee in our latte is because all adaptogens are fat soluble. If you're not mixing them with some sort of fat, you're not taking advantage of all of the amazing benefits that they have to offer you. Like if you ever go to an Ayurvedic retreat, you start your morning by drinking a cup of ghee every morning. And what it does is it just like pulls everything out of your body and um, gets things going. Since you've never done this before, I would start with a teaspoon of ghee and work your way up. And then cardamom. A, it's delicious. It's also really good for your digestion and a little gently cooling to the system. Also, it lowers the acidity of the coffee. Then the actual mushroom. Wow, this is really nice. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Oh, that's oh good. God. That's Isn't really good. So yummy. I really thought that I was going to taste the mushrooms. It tastes like you're eating dirt. So I'm very happy to report that this doesn't taste weird. This seems pretty easy. I feel like I'm gonna be able to do this. And one last thing I wanted to teach you is you said you meditated every day. And so something I would like to challenge you to add to your meditation is for a minute to three minutes before your normal meditation, doing left nostril breathing. Plug your right nostril mm -hmm. and you just inhale and exhale slowly. through your left nostril. It's like this sensation of kind of just dropping into your vagina. Yes. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna be checking in with you in two weeks. Perfect. To see how it's going. All right, the month starts now. It is the first day of my mushroom challenge. Listen, cats, oh my God, I'm vlogging cats. First day of my mushroom challenge and I am le tired, hopefully. This drink gives me that little kick in the pants so I can get my day started. Oh, I'm making a mess. There she is. Tastes delicious. Get off of the counter. Day three of making the mushroom drink. I was about to walk out the door and I realized I forgot to add the reishi powder, which is the whole point of this thing. It's kind of hard to gauge whether or not this reishi mushroom thing is actually helping, but I will say Tuesday this week, my first day, I was super groggy, but every day this week was a little easier. I had more energy. I was not as anxious or grumpy around the afternoon. So maybe it's working. It has officially been over a week. I have been doing this reishi stuff. I think I feel a difference. It's still pretty early, but I will say the reishi has a really like calming effect and this is how I really know. On Sunday, I didn't have a reishi latte because I was going to brunch and stuff. So I decided to have a tea latte at night and oh my God, y'all, this put me out. It was wonderful with a little nut milk and some decaffeinated tea. Damn, I had like the best sleep of my life. It even has, it features like a little sleeping person. I feel pretty grounded. There's still a lot I have to do in a day, but I don't feel like I am overwhelmed as easily, which is a really nice feeling. So first week has been a success. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm very good. Reishi's been definitely helping. It doesn't slow me down like weed or like CBD. It definitely makes me feel less scattered. It is the reason I love these amazing functional herbs, mushrooms, adaptogens. They're subtle, but they're also very powerful. And when you allow them to build in your system like you did, you now have this beautiful tool to help you ground into your body, then change your relationship with your anxiety. When you're more connected into your body, you become more sensitive because you're living from a place of your body and not letting your mind control your feelings and your emotions. I felt the reishi effects from the first week. And I also experimented with making like a tea latte at night. Perfect. I got the best sleep ever. Reishi gave me a ritual to kind of like ground myself. Even when I didn't have time to make it and meditate and like think sweet thoughts, I would drink it and I'd be like, ha, I'm at work. I'm present, I'm happy, I'm grounded, I'm here. 
practice, ritual, whatever you want to call it, is truly everything in helping you to live a more balanced, anxiety-less life. We live habitually. We do so much without intention. Mm -hmm. And when you take a moment to have intention for yourself, you are curating a deeper self-love, which therefore will permeate into your whole being and allow you to live that more grounded connected life because when you're connected into your heart and you're feeling that that's when the anxiety really does melt away thank you so much thank you look at that beautiful weekend latte look at this saturday morning look at that cat i made a mess my reishi mushroom situation just blew up all over me but I'm not feeling anxious about it. It has officially been almost a month. Reishi has been absolutely helping me. For the past two weeks, I've had bronchitis and the flu. And I've been on steroids, I've been on all this kind of medication. I find that when I drink my Reishi drink in the morning, it helps me get it feel grounded and not so jittery because the steroids make you feel like. So I'm making my drink. Same recipe as always, because it works. Technically the challenge is over, the month is done, and I haven't really been drinking the lattes. I definitely feel a difference, so we making it. It's time, here we go. Today is an example of a day where I feel pretty stressed. I got stuff going on with my family in Atlanta. I don't and I forgot to put on sunscreen. Okay, well my foundation has sunscreen on, and it looks like it's gonna rain, but you should still wear sunscreen. This is my brain right now. I could really use a little bit of grounding energy, just something that puts my feet on the ground that makes me feel like I am competent. So I made my mushroom latte drink. I'm gonna drink this drink with the intention of I'm going to do my best to work with what I have and not judge myself anymore. All right, let's get to work. When I initially started this video, I definitely thought I was only gonna be doing this for a month. And then life happened and things got crazy and here we are, it's the seventh week week of this mushroom journey. Incorporating adaptogens into my diet and into my life has been so incredibly helpful. I'm not saying that you shouldn't take medication. Medication is vital for a lot of people. But if you're looking for to supplement your medication journey or to try something else, highly recommend it. And this is a ladylike try that I'm definitely gonna be keeping in my schedule from here on out.